Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balcom. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Space Marine close support icon. So the first colour we're going to use is Vallejo White. And all we're going to do is draw a white square onto the shoulder pad. And it's going to be the white square that we're going to divide into the close support icon. As always with white, it's quite a tricky colour to work with. It never seems to go on without streaking or leaving the colour below visible. So you, when you, once you've drawn this square on, you will probably have to go over it a few times just to fill that in and get that so it's a nice smooth white colour. I'm going to speed up this video here because all we're doing is painting on a white square. And if the edges aren't 100% square when you're finished, it's okay, we can straighten them off a little bit later on. As you can see here, as I'm painting on the square, I will add little bits to the edges just to get that square and straight. And also fill in the colour just to make sure that, as I say, you have that nice smooth white colour. The next colour we're going to use is Citadel McCrag Blue. Now the background is McCrag Blue and all we're going to do here is we're going to draw a triangle on each side on the top and the bottom. And you'll see why in a moment once you've drawn this on. Basically you're going to be dividing the square so that it looks like an X. That will be the basic shape for the close support icon. So when you try and put these on you want to be looking at A the shape of the square and where you're putting them on within the square and B where the lines go. So if you look at that line that's sloping from top left to bottom right you can see that's pretty much straight on on both parts. It's maybe slightly higher on the top of the shoulder pad than it is at the bottom of the shoulder pad where the line joins. But once you've got all the triangles in place you can see which ones are the thickest, which ones are slightly too long, which ones are slightly too short and you can start touching them up and getting them so that they're the right shape and everything fits together a little bit better. So you can see this bottom one here the bottom left part of the X is slightly wider than the rest and it's also slightly longer. So what you can do is just widen up the other ones, make the wide ones narrower and the narrow ones slightly wider just so you get them all the same width. And once you've got your basic X shape there, we're then going to use a little bit of white and on the corners here, you're going to do a little bit of a vertical on all those vertical points. And a little bit of a horizontal on these points. And then just draw a line between the top of those two pieces. And that creates your arrowhead. And then you can just fill that in with colour. So we're going to do this on each of the corners. And get these arrowheads on. And then once you've finished, you can look at that straight on. And you'll be able to see which parts are too wide or too narrow and how it's all shaping up. And once you've got that bit set, you can then start fixing it with a little bit of McCrag blue and then the white. And as you do, you'll just keep doing one, then the other, then one, then the other, just so that you can get that as perfect as you want it to be. As always, the more that you do them, the better they'll be. So you can see the bottom left one still looks a bit wide and slightly wrong. So we're going to start tweaking up all the arrowheads and just shaping up all the bits in the middle. Touching up any areas where the white isn't quite 
white enough there where you just can still see the blue through it and vice versa too if there's any areas that you need to get rid of the white you just use a little bit of the macrag blue and just smooth that off like so Now I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black. I'm just going to put the squad number on there. I'm going to go for squad number 10, so we're just going to draw a nice little X on here. You'll notice when I do this X, that I put the cross in slightly the wrong place, so that the top is a lot shorter than the bottom. And you can see the faff that I have trying to get that X looking proper. What probably would have been easiest to do is just completely paint over one of these lines, the second line there, completely paint over it with white and then restart it. But I'm just kind of going to show you how you can tweak that to save going over it again. But in fairness, it probably would have been easier just to paint over that second line and start it from scratch. Put the little lines at the top of each leg and the bottom of each leg. And you look at that, it does look very wrong with the top part being shorter. Then just using a little bit of white, I'm going to start tweaking that, getting those little caps and feet on the X done. And when you look at it, still not quite happy. So I'm going to start edging that top piece over and redoing that second line. As with everything freehand, when you paint it on, if you make a mistake, just try and tweak it if you can. If you can't, repaint it or adjust it so you can. Like so. And that is the finished close support icon. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.